Hello, my name is Kyle, and today we're going to learn how to make a double helix in Inventor 2018. We're going to be using functions such as coil and rectangular. First off, we're going to start by going to new. We're going to make one standard part, go to create. After that, you're going to want to go start sketch. You're going to want to go on the x, v plane. What you're going to want to do is make the distance between both of our helixes. So that will be, let's just say, um, 4, right? So you're going to want to do that. Then you want to make the diameter of one of the helixes. So let's just say the diameter of one helix will be one. We'll put that there, and we'll finish sketch. Now we have to make another one, since whenever you do a coil, it deletes one of the sides, and you cannot do two different shapes at once in a uh, coil. So let's just make another one, finish sketch here. Also, when you make a coil, you need an axis point. So we have to make two axes as well. So we're gonna go here, start from the center point here, go out to, go up. Let's just put a random value such as 5, enter, and finish sketch. Now we're going to make another one of these. Just click on the XY plane. Start from here again, go out 2, then go up 5, then finish sketch. Now that we have that, we're also going to need to make the part that connects the two helixes. So let's just say we want the thickness of that piece to be 0.4, which is a good general thickness, and will look good when we do it. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to extrude this piece downward. We're going to reverse that so that it goes to the other helix. Now the distance of 4, just click OK, and then that will make your piece. Next up, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to Coil, which is right here next to Create. You're going to want to click on one of the circles here, then you're going to want to click on the axis, which is going to be one of these ones here. Now you have a coil, but you don't have the right size, so uh, you're going to have to edit the pitch or revolution to whatever you want. Revolution is how many times this can happen, and pitch is how, basically, how tall you want it to be. So let's just say we want the pitch to be 10, and we want the revolution to be 3, so that's going to be equaling to 30. Next up, what we're going to want to do is do another one here, and then click on the axis, which is going to be here. Do it again, and click Enter. The coil size is already set to that, so you don't need to do it again. So click OK. Now that will make the first part. First of all, what you're going to need to do is go to Edit Feature. Now that you have these coils, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move this down here so that you can edit the other pieces. You want to edit the feature, and then you're going to want to make it cut out these pieces, or just a part of this so that you can mark it. Now we have the first part of the helix, so that's good. We're going to have to go to New, right? Okay, so we're going to make another part, go to Start Sketch. We're going to want to go to to say the YZ plane. We're going to want to make one circle. We're going to make it the thickness of the other part that connects the two helixes, so that's 0.4. Click Finish Sketch. And then we're going to want to extrude that down by 4. And then it doesn't matter which direction you go. Now we need the center point here, so we're going to go to Offset Plane, and we're going to go to negative 2 since it's going to go backwards here. So now that we have that, we have the correct uh, location that we're going to do this. So the next thing requires using uh, a 3D sketch. So basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to helical curve. You're going to want to click on this point. So actually, before we do that, you're going to want to make a sketch on this point just to mark the center point. So let's just say we do this. That's the center point there. 3D sketches require a center point to actually make any piece. So now that we have the center point, which is right here, we're going to want to go up. First of all, what we're going to want to do is change the diameter to 4, which is the distance between the helixes. So 4, the pitch was 10, and the revolution was 3. So all we need to do is make that again. Now, I believe this is going the wrong direction, so we're going to need to rotate it. Let me just check real quick. Um, yeah, so now it's going the correct direction. We're going to click Apply, and that should make our shape. Now, that's not actually going to make the actual part. What we're going to need to do next requires a little bit more work. We're going to need to go to Rectangular. What we're going to want to do is click on this feature right here. You're going to want to click on Direction, which is going to be this 3D sketch right here. Um, we're going to put in however many you want to be a part. So let's just say... 
we want to have 30 in here in this distance. Now it looks weird right now, but it's only because it's not set up properly. You need to go to direction two, click on this one, click on the line again, change this value to one. And then you, what you want to do is you're going to want to go to here, click on direction one. This should center your piece. So now they're all going in the correct direction and they're only going straight up to a height of 30. So now what you're going to want to do is you just want to click OK. That should make this piece. Now let's just delete this sketch down here because we don't really need it. Actually, we need to make it invisible because it's part of the uh, sketch. Also, let's just make this one uh, invisible. Now that we have these pieces, this is going to be, let's just say, part 21 and part 20. What we're going to want to do next is we're going to want to combine the two pieces in an assembly. Go to New, go to Assembly. Now you're going to want to go to Place. Now take our two pieces, 21 right here. And we're going to want to take 20 right here. Now, if these are facing the correct direction, these should constrain properly. So now we're going to want to go to here, constrain it to the cut right here. Now that will fit it automatically. Now, if we look at it, the double helix is finished. They're all meeting up. Now, that's basically all you need to do. Now you can color it if you want. You don't really need to, but that's just an added on thing you can do. Also, if you want to get rid of this little bit down here, all you need to do is you need to go to Sketch or 3D Model, click here. And then just draw a big shape. Okay, then you just want to extrude this two different directions. Let's just say that. Uh, let's do one. And then we'll cut it off so that it looks normal. And basically, that's how you make one. That's how you make a double helix. Thank you for watching.